An amortization schedule or table shows the breakdown of a mortgage payment and what goes toward the principal and what goes towards interest. We're going to create an example of one now. As an example, let's say that someone purchases a house for $240,000 and puts $40,000 down. So they have a mortgage of $200,000. It's at a rate of 9%, the loan is for 30 years, and the number of payments per year will be 12. Using the mortgage payment formula, as you see here, their monthly payment will be $1,609.25 rounded off. There are three major steps in creating a table. Step one, calculate the interest amount for each month. Step two, calculate the amount of payment that goes towards the principal. And step three, calculating the new principal amount after the payment. In our table, there are gonna be six columns. The payment number, payment amount, current principal, interest amount, principal reduction, and balance of principal. For the first column, payment number, this is gonna be one, two, three, and so on, all the way to 360, the total number of payments because there are 30 years and 12 payments per year, which is 360 total payments. The second column, payment amount. This will always be the $1,609.25 payment we calculated a moment ago. The third column, the current principal, will be the principal amount before the current payment number. So the current principal before payment number one will be $200,000. The fourth column, the interest amount, is the interest amount for one month on the current principal amount and this number will change each month. The formula to calculate this is interest equals the principal times the rate times time. So for payment number one, we have interest equals $200,000 times 0 0.09, the yearly rate, times the time frame, which in this case will be one over 12. It's one over 12 because we're calculating the interest accrued over one month, and the rate is given as a yearly rate, not a monthly rate. Calculating out, we get $1,500 as the interest amount, and we can put that in the table. The fifth column, the principal reduction, is the amount of the current payment that will go towards the principal. The formula for this is principal reduction equals the monthly payment minus the interest amount for the month, which we just calculated. So we have principal reduction equals $1,609.25 minus $1,500, which equals $109.25 and we can put that in the table. The last column, the balance of principal, is the new principal amount after the current payment and current principal reduction are applied. The formula for this is the current principal amount minus the principal reduction. So we have $200,000 minus $109.25, which calculates to $199,890.75. We can put that in the table, and the first row of the table is now complete. Now for the second row, for payment number two. For column three, the current principal, this is the new principal amount at the start of the month, which is the same amount as the balance of principal after the last payment, which we just calculated in the last column. So this is $199,890.75. And we can carry this amount over to column three each time we calculate it. The interest amount is the interest amount for the current principal amount for the month. Using the formula, for payment number two, we have interest equals $199,890.75 times 0 0.09, the yearly rate, times the time frame, which is one over 12. Calculating out, we get $1,499.18 as the interest amount, and we can put that in the table. For the fifth column in the second row, the principal reduction, using the formula, we have principal reduction equals $1,609.25 minus $1,499.18, which equals $110.07, and we can put that in the table. And now we can calculate the new principal amount, or the balance of principal, which is $199,890.75, minus $110.07, which calculates to $199,780.68. We can put that in the table in the last column, and we can also put that in the third row for the current principal. And the second row of the table is complete. And here are the numbers for the next three payments. And as you can see, in the early years of a mortgage, a vast majority of the payments goes towards interest. And we would continue this process for the table through 360 payments for the 30-year loan. I've done this on the screen, as you see here. And the table actually goes past zero for the balance of principal in the last column. 
as it doesn't always work out to zero. So we can adjust the last payment, as this will be $1,588.61, the current principal, plus the $11.91 of interest, which equals $1,600.52. And we'll need to adjust the principal reduction, which will now be the monthly payment of $1,600.52 minus $11.91 which equals $1,588.61. And our new balance of principal will be the current principal of $1,588.61 minus the principal reduction of $1,588.61, which equals zero, and our amortization table is complete. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, ah! And out of here.